Hi children, good afternoon to one all. I think uh, we had uh, started the chapter number two, adaptation and survival of animals. In that, we have learned what is habitat, what is adaptation, and on basis of their uh, body, they will be changing, right? For example, uh, adaptation due to body coverings. We have seen uh, fish, right? Crocodile, snake, because they all have shells they have sorry they have scales on their body right then we have seen a uh, fox bear and rabbit who is who are having hairs or furs on their body then apart from these we have animals which are having shells for example snow sorry snail then tortoise and oyster so what these uh, animals which are having shells, what they are doing, whenever they feel they are in danger, what they will do, they are going to withdraw their head and tail from and it is going to be just all uh, circulated in that shell. Then next, we have uh, feathers, sparrow, pigeon, peacock, what these are doing? They are having feathers on their body. With the help of feathers, what they are doing? They are protecting from rain and hot, rain and heat. And apart from that, it helps them to fly. So these were the things that we learnt in our earlier kids. So today, we will be learning about breathing organs. What is that? Breathing organs in the animals. Breathing organs in the animals. We all know that air is required to respirate, to breathe. If we are, we all have to be alive. We have to keep breathing. So we are human beings. We are going to breathe through what? With our lungs. As the air is entering our nostrils, then it is moving through windpipe, and then it is moving to lungs. Right? Similarly, there are different organisms which are having different breathing organ in their body. We all know that we are going to take in oxygen and we are giving out carbon dioxide. So as we all take air inside, in that only oxygen is taken inside and then carbon dioxide is emitted out from the body. Then first, it is about Insects. What it is? Insects. Insects like grasshopper, cockroaches, ants, flies, mosquitoes. How they are? How these uh, insects are breathing? Insects like mosquito, flies, grasshopper. Ants. How these animals are going to breathe? They have a special organ on their skin. They are having a special pore on its body. For that, we are going to call spiracles. So these spiracles are the small holes which are present on its body. So through that small hole, what these uh, insects are doing? They are breathing. Is this clear? The small hole which is present on those insects is said to be spiracles. With the help of that spiracles, what it is doing? It is breathing. Is this clear? Okay. Then second, it is our aquatic animals. Animals. So, for example, fish, tadpoles. Tadpoles are nothing but frog, which is still in growing stage, undergrowth. For that, we are going to call tadpole. 
so this fish and tadpoles what these are doing these are respiratory these are breathing through gills gills is an organ which helps fish and tadpoles to respirate remember frogs it is popularly known as an amphibian frog is a amphibian amphibian means what it lives on land as well as water so amphibian means it is an uh, amphibian means it is an organism which lives both on land and water so when this frog is on land what it is doing it is breathing through its lungs what it is doing when it is on the land it is breathing through its lungs frogs earthworms frogs and earthworms these are breathing through its moist skin so skin is going to be moist so this earthworm and frog what they are doing it is respirating it is breathing through its moist skin is this clear remember frog is an amphibian it will be living in water as well as it will be living on land so when it is on land it is breathing through its lungs is this clear okay next so next is except insects and aquatic animals except insects and aquatic animals all other organisms all animals including human beings including human beings what we are doing all the animals except insects and aquatic animals including human being the respiration is done by lungs breathing is going to be done by lungs in this breathing process through lungs how it's going to happen is first of all we are going to take air inside through our nostrils right these are said to be nostrils so through these nostrils the air is entering inside once the air enters inside it moves to windpipe once the air enters our nostrils it moves and it moves through windpipe from that windpipe it is moving to our lungs so through this windpipe the air is entering lungs and the respiration process takes place there if there is any carbon dioxide that will be thrown out it will be sent out again that will come through in pipe and we are going to exhale it through our nostrils is this clear yes okay we said earlier aquatic animals are going to breathe through their gills but there are some exceptional cases like uh, blue whale whales and dolphins whales and dolphins what is whales and dolphins are doing they are coming out of the water for a while and again they are jumping inside the water have you seen this especially dolphins they will come they will rise from the water and again they are going to sink in that water that water is nothing but the water about sea because we see this in sea this is says different and this is says different so we are seeing all this in this sea is this clear 
we see whales and dolphins in sea so why these whales and dolphins are coming out why they are coming out because to respirate to breathe even these whales and dolphins have lungs in them that is why they come out they will be jumping and again they will be moving inside the ocean or sea so apart from whales and dolphins other aquatic animals are going to breathe through their gills but this dolphin and whales what they are doing they are respirating they are breathing through its lungs because these whales and dolphins are having blow holes it will be on its surface of the body on the body surface of these whales and dolphins we are going to find small dots right what is what it is called it is called as blow holes or you can say it has nostrils so through nostrils the air has to enter inside right through our nostrils air is entering inside it is moving to windpipe and then it is moving to lungs similarly these whales and dolphins are having blow holes blow holes are nothing but nostrils so through that blow holes what they are doing they are taking air inside then it moves for respiration or for breathing is this clear children okay so this was about breathing organs in animals now it will be movements movements in animals so there are different animals which are having its own nature of moving its body for example when we look at lizard snake crocodile it is crawling it is crawling on the surface whereas animals are walking on its four legs that is four limbs and hind limbs whereas human being we are walking only on our two legs that is why our posture means that is why we are standing erect or else we too would have been walking like animals with four limbs and as well as hind limbs our four limbs are our hands right so depending on these the animals are classified again into terrestrial animals aquatic animals and aerial animals terrestrial animals aquatic animals and aerial aerial means inside in the air aerial means in the air okay so first which is the terrestrial animals so what is this terrestrial animals it is nothing but the animals which are on land for them we call as terrestrial animals so understood what is terrestrial animals the animals which are living on land in search of food whatever that may be but what is animals are uh, doing they are living on land that is why they are said to be terrestrial animals they may be crawling they may be running they may be walking it is its nature but entirely they are living on land that is why they are said to be terrestrial animals then what about this aquatic animals the animals which are living in water so the animals which are living in water are said to be aquatic animals so terrestrial animals and aquatic animals is that clear so now what it is it is aerial animals these aerial animals what these animals are doing is 
they will be always in the air how they will be in the air always it is because of flying they keep flying that is why they will be moving in the air so we call them as aerial animals is this clear so terrestrial animals aquatic animals and then aerial animals what well, you understood what is terrestrial aquatic and aerial animals are now we will be seeing one by one so as said earlier the animals that are going to live on land the animals that live on land are said to be terrestrial animals okay we all know that animals are having four legs right two legs are front and two legs are back this is clear for example we have a tiger lion elephant right all these animals are having four legs so two will be front and two will be back then what is called for its two legs which are front we call them as limbs what is that limbs so front two limbs so front two legs limbs legs right so when it is having two front legs it is said four limbs so the legs which are in front are said to be four limbs and the legs which are there in its back two that is hind limbs so front two legs will be four limbs whereas the back two legs will be hind limbs so all these animals what they are doing they are using all its four legs or all its four limbs and walking or moving but human being we all know that we have only two legs and two hands is this right we have only two legs and two hands our two hands are said to be four limbs our two hands are said to be four limbs is this clear so these two hands are said to be our four limbs whereas the legs that we are standing on they are said to be our hind limbs i think uh, this is clear children always animals are going to have four legs two will be front two will be back so those two legs which are there in front are said to be four limbs whereas two legs which are there back side they will be called as hind limbs but human beings we have only two legs and two hands so those two hands are said to be our four limbs and our two legs are said to be hind limbs is this clear so this is about terrestrial animals because of our two legs and two hands we are standing only on our two legs that is why we all human beings are erect erect means we are standing straight we are not bending like animals is this clear okay so that was about terrestrial animals now we will be seeing about aquatic animals aquatic animals so the animals that live in water that live in water are said to be aquatic animals so in aquatic animals we have fishes then 
turtles and frogs fishes turtles and frog when we draw the diagram of fishes we will be having or we will be labeling it as fin what this fin is doing or what these fins are doing this fins help them to move forward so as there are fins on the body of this fish what it is doing it is helping that fish to move forward with the help of fins but we have seen that fishes doesn't go for exactly straight they will be changing its direction then how it has to change its direction when only these fins are helping it to move forward there will be a tail fin there will be a tail fin what that tail fin is doing is so fins are helping the fish to move forward whereas its tail fin what that tail fin is doing it is helping to change its direction helping to change direction is this clear the next turtles they are having paddle like limbs which helps those turtles to move forward the next we have frogs as it is having webbed feet it keeps it moving but this will be water so its webbed feet is going to help it to move in water the next we have seen penguins where its two forelimbs are used as flippers to swim so the uh, two forelimbs of penguins what is done those two forelimbs of penguins are used as flippers what is this flippers it helps the penguin to swim in water is this clear so aquatic animals the animals which are living in water for example fish it is having fin because of that fin that fish is moving forward and if it has to change its direction there will be a fin at the end of it that that is known as tail fin so that tail fin what it is doing it is helping that fish to change the direction of motion the next we have turtles as the uh, turtles are having paddle like limbs it helps it moving far forward then frogs it is having webbed feet that webbed feet keeps it in motion in water then penguin its two forelimbs are used as flippers those flippers helps in it swimming okay the next one is aerial animals we will be seeing it in the next class so till now what we have seen we have seen breathing organs in animals then movements in animals in this movements in animals we have seen about terrestrial animals and then aquatic animals is this clear so you have to keep reading textbook then only you will understand so for today's homework you have to write breathing organs of grasshopper whale dolphin then frog then discuss about terrestrial animals and aquatic animals
so you have to write the breathing organ of grasshopper whale dolphin and frog the next main second question that is you have to discuss about discuss about means you have to read this terrestrial animals and you have to write notes on this terrestrial animals and also on aquatic animals you have to read aquatic animals and then you have to write notes on it so is this clear so if you have any doubt call to the school number i will be available so keep reading textbook i keep reminding you keep reading textbook again and again so that you can understand clearly so stay home stay safe wish you happy independence day thank you